how to do a perfect taper fade step by step using the all new FX3 collection that includes the clipper, trimmer, and the shaver by today's video sponsors, Babyliss. First of all, if y'all know Fader Culture, y'all know we're a big fan of the color black. So the design and the aesthetic of these tools are just like, wow. Like, wow. So I'm gonna go ahead. <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all how I would use them in this tutorial and point out a few different features that I like so y'all can maybe consider purchasing them and checking them out for yourselves. And if y'all do decide to purchase them, go ahead and check them out in the description. I will leave a link down there with a personal code from us so y'all can get a discount for y'all to purchase. So with that being said, let's just jump right into this tutorial. All right guys, so to start, just like any other cut, you want to fully comb the hair into its natural state and at the same time inspecting the hair for any bumps or birthmarks. You don't want to run them over with your clippers and potentially hurt your client. And you can also have them let you know if they have any that you need to be aware of. And then before actually starting the taper guidelines, first I like to just run through the hard lines just so I can exactly know where I want my fade to start, if that makes sense. So first I'll just do the edge up really quick, it doesn't have to be too detailed, and then I'll come in and lay down my first guideline with my trimmers. And I am using the FX3 trimmers, these trimmers are really nice guys, and I love that I didn't even have to zero gap them, they had already came zero gapped, and as you can see they're pretty sharp. And now before moving forward you want to take a step back and ensure that your back line is even from both sides, and that it's also even from the side profile, before moving on with your second guideline. And for the second guideline, I'm using the FX3 clippers. And this clipper, guys, don't have a lever. It has the this button in the middle that you just slide up and down. So downwards would be the lever all the way open. So I just moved it all the way down and I laid down my next guideline coming up about a half inch from that previous line that we set. And we're just making sure that it runs parallel to that previous line, guys. All you got to do is let the clipper do the work. All you're doing is guiding it. So just with soft, gentle strokes making sure you lay down that line as soft as possible. And honestly guys, I was a little nervous at first because this was my first time using the clipper, so I didn't know how hard it was gonna be for me to figure them out without having a lever, but honestly guys, it's like the same thing, so the uh, turned out pretty dope. And next, I'm gonna go ahead and throw on that one guard still leaving that lever all the way down on the clipper for our next guideline. And just so y'all know, the clippers do have about a five hour runtime, so you'll be able to get in a few haircuts before having to recharge. And also, like I said, guys, I will leave a link down in the description for y'all to go ahead and purchase them if y'all are interested in uh, checking these clippers and tools out. Y'all will be able to get a 15% discount using Sergio15 at babylesspro.com at checkout. And then also, guys, I want y'all to notice that since this is a tight space of a taper, once I get to the guards, I do start kind of flaring out more so that I'm not cutting too much into the bulk of the hair. And next, we're gonna go ahead and throw on that one and a half clip with that lever still all the way down for our next guideline. And again, just like we did with the number one guard, we're, start, we're flaring out just a tiny bit above what we just did. So just make sure you're using a C, like a C scoop motion, and you're just coming up about maybe a quarter inch, a little less than before. Because here we're actually just trying to start, we're trying to start to blend into the top bulk. And just so you know, the left side of the taper, I had already did it. Uh, in case y'all are wondering why I'm not showing that side. Because it's the same exact steps that we're doing on the right side. And then next, I'm going to go ahead and throw on the number two guard. Still with that lever all the way down for the next uh, guard to use. And here you see that I'm kind of using the comb to help me scoop and feed the hair into the clipper and at the same time kind of flaring out even more. I'm exaggerating the flare out motion more because I really want to try to finish connecting this side length of the taper to that bulk. And just look at how effortlessly these tools work guys. It just cuts through them like butter as you can see here. And like I said, they have a five hour runtime and you could use them corded if needed. But really, I just love the matte black color. I love how they have a little carbon fiber design to them for grip. And they also have two motor speeds, one running at 6,000 RPM and the other one at 7 RPM. Right now I have it on high just because just I like to 
get the most optimal performance from my tools. And now that we're done with the two guard, we're gonna go ahead and throw on the number three guard and still doing the exact same thing that we did with the number two guard with that lever still all the way down and then just coming up a little bit higher just to refine anything else of a bulk that we need. So as you see here, how I flare it outwards and I help feed that hair into the clipper with, uh, with the comb. And just so y'all know, these clippers do come with the entire set of guards, one through eight. And now here, just to get rid of any other bulk that you see here left behind, I'm gonna go ahead and use our very own thinning shears. Uh, Y'all can find these at fadedculture.com, guys. We have the set that we sell together. It's a six inch shear and then the six inch thinning shears. So all you're gonna wanna do is scoop out with the comb a piece of that bulk and then just run the shears, these thinning shears through them to soften up that bulk weight line so that it don't sit so heavy. So just repeat the process right here on the side. As you see, I just lift up a piece of that hair and then I'll just give it about two to three chops and then lay it back down. And then when you're laying it down, you'll, you'll be able to determine if you still need to keep lifting it up to thin out the area a little more or whatever. So just keep combing it down so you can be measuring how much still is needed to thin out. So now, as you see here, we're left with these two guidelines to blend out. You should have them on the side and on the back. We're gonna start by blending out that top guideline and then work our way down. And for that guideline, I'm gonna start with the half guard and I'm gonna position the lever to that halfway spot. So it has four notches. So you're just gonna wanna open it or close it all the way and then just close it two clicks in and that's the middle. And then I'm gonna just start attacking that top guideline a little at a time and little by little you'll start seeing it blend out it's not going to take it out completely but just try to take out the most that this lever position can and then once you see that the clipper is doing no more cutting you're going to go ahead and close the lever all the way up so that it cuts to its shortest length that it can and then just finish trying to blend out the rest of that guideline just with soft gentle strokes guys using the corner of the clippers you can kind of detail that line out as much as possible and since this was my first time using these clippers, I was trying to figure out the best way to fade. On the side, I know I started with the clipper lever open to half, but on the back, I think I realized that closing it first works a lot better. So to take out the top guideline, first start with that lever closed all the way, and then take out the basically most of the guideline, as you see here, that's starting to blend out a little at a time. And then to finish taking it out, open it to that halfway spot to finish blending it out. And then just take your time with blending out these guidelines, guys. At first, it may not seem like they get taken out right off the back, but sometimes it takes a little finessing of moving the clipper in various angles to better help the hair feed into the clipper so that it actually does some cutting. But then once that guideline is mostly blended out, we're gonna start taking out that first guideline again, like as we did with that top guideline, closing the lever first and taking out most of the initial guidelines is using the corner and keeping the strokes very very minimal about about a quarter inch going up and down and then you're just going to open the lever halfway continue blending up and then just open it all the way to finish blending out that initial guideline so it should take three positions of this lever to finish taking out that first guideline guys and by the time you open the lever all the way, it should be very minimal. So you're just looking for any little dark spots that you need to take out. But there you have it. You're gonna repeat the exact same steps in the back, starting with that lever all the way up, and then just start at the initial guideline. And since this is a longer space in the back, I'm gonna just focus on a section at a time so that it don't get so much overwhelming. So that it don't get overwhelming. But yeah, I started with it closed, and then I open it halfway and then I open it all the way, gradually moving up about a quarter inch at a time until that line looked completely blended out to me. And then once I'm done with this little section, I'm gonna just move forward to the middle part of the taper in the back to finish taking out the line there and then on the opposite side.
and then once that line is completely blended out you can follow through by grabbing your fx3 trimmers again and taking out the rest of the bottom of the hair and guys just like the clipper themselves these also uh, give you the option to using them corded or cordless and then once that's taken out you can go ahead and use your babyliss pro black fx3 cordless double foil shaver these also have a high speed rotary motor of about 10,000 RPMs and a lithium ion battery with about a three hour runtime, guys. So these are high quality shavers. As you can see here, they take out the hair with ease. I really like them. Again, that carbon fiber detail to them and the matte black color just kind of fits our aesthetic. So I'm really loving these. But yeah, guys, you're only shaving out whatever was taken out with the trimmer. Try not to go any higher and uh, potentially create hard lines into the fade. But if you do so happen to do that, you could just come back in with your trimmers and lightly uh, fade them back out with the corners of these trimmers. And then before prepping the hair for the lineup, I quickly just blow dry everything just to have a clean canvas. And then I'm going to spray a little spritz onto the lineup areas and then uh, blow dry them down until they're really dry to the touch just to harden up the hairline so that it's not moving around while I come in with my trimmers to set in my hard lines. And then I'm gonna just grab my FX3 trimmers again and uh, just set in my hard lines. You wanna keep, the, keep these lines as natural as possible, but still giving it that clean, sharp look. So as you can see guys, these trimmers are very, very sharp. They're dope, I like them. I like how thin they are as well. It almost feels like you're using a pencil, so they're easy to manage around the head. They have that 360 exposure of the T-blade, so um, you don't have that bulk right under the T-blade getting in the way. To when you're doing any lineup work and then for the front guys I always like starting down the middle uh, I take a step back kind of determine where the middle of the head is and where's the best place to position that middle line and then I'll work my way off to one side and then just trying to connect and create that 90 degree angle on the corner as sharp as possible and then just take your time detailing it so that it looks as clean as possible same thing with the c cup area i know we did it in the beginning but i'm gonna refine it even sharper now that i'm actually focused on it and then just repeat the process on the opposite side till you see that line from the front view as straight and as clean as possible i went ahead and also used it for his eyebrows just to clean up any little hairs that flare out and I also used it to detail the bottom hairs that flare over the lip area for his mustache. And once you're satisfied with your lineup, you can go ahead and start prepping your straight razor um, to start doing your shaving. These are our very own beta culture double edged razors, so there's two per pack. And uh, I just like to snap it in half and then insert it using our very own Turkish razor. Again, guys, y'all can find these razors at betaculture.com. And then just insert it here at whatever exposure you like. Then just go ahead and apply some shaving gel. This is our very own as well, the Beta Culture shaving gel. And then just apply it to all, throughout all the areas that you are going to be shaving just to create that lubrication barrier so you don't irritate the skin and or could potentially cut them. And a cool little hack that I like to use is after I'm done with the shaving gel, I'll apply a little bit of water on top and that's just gonna help preserve the life of the shaving gel so that it don't dry out as fast. And then once I'm actually shaving guys, I always use my opposite hand to pull and tug on that skin to create tension and better help that razor slide with ease. And you see first, I'm always shaving away most of the shaving gel I'll shave down with the grain before I come back and shave against the grain up onto the line to create that sharp, the sharpest line as possible. And I'm always getting asked guys like what are some good tips or ways to like practice with a straight razor and I just always recommend use the razor without an actual uh, blade into it and then just kind of practice around somebody's head like as if you were shaving and get comfortable with the amount of pressure that is needed and then uh, get, comfortable get comfortable moving around in different angles around the head to where it starts to feel confident and then once you start feel feeling a lot more confident you can go ahead and throw on a razor and start actually shaving but yeah guys you're only allowing the blade to do the shaving you don't have to apply a lot of pressure these blades are really sharp so the hair just shaves off easy so there's no need to apply um, hard pressure onto the razor
And then once done with the whole lineup work, you can go ahead and apply some enhancements. This part is optional. If you like the natural look, just leave it as is. But if you want to apply enhancements, just mix equal parts of water with hair dye into an airbrush gun, a portable one, preferably. And then just apply it on the, on the hairline. You don't want to overdo it here, guys. So just do a little, a little bit of uh, sprays onto the hairline until it looks as clean as possible. And then after that, I'll comb everything back down and come back in and refine anything if needed around the head. Because by this time, this is the final look. So you go back in and clean up any little hairs or stragglers that might have still been left behind or maybe that you didn't catch the first time around. And you can even go back into the fade if you still see something that you don't like. But other than that, guys, that's pretty much it for this tutorial on a low taper fade with uh, his hair. I mean, we left it how it was. We didn't do anything on top. But I hope y'all enjoyed it. Big shout out to Babylist Pro for sponsoring this video and sending us their clippers. Again, guys, if y'all like to check out those tools, I'm gonna leave them left down in the description for y'all to check out with my personal code. So go ahead to get a little discount. But again, guys, my name is Sergio Barron. This is Fade of Culture, and I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video. Peace.